remains far from you, God. Oh, Father, for you said the Pharisees draw close to you with their mouths, but their heart remains far from you, God. And you said even unto them, Father God, that they will call upon you and say, Lord, Lord, I did all of these things in your name. And you'll say, depart from me, you work of iniquity, because I never knew you, God. Oh, Father, let that not be the case with wives, Lord, especially of those of us in ministry, Father. Father, know us. Know our hearts today, God. We spread our hearts on your altar today, God. We spread our lives and our works and our things on your altar today, God. And we plead with you that we might know you as you know us and to know us in relationship to you, God. We thank you that all things are naked and open to you whom we must give an account. Now, Father, you said you shed your, bro- your, your love abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost and that we ought to be rooted and grounded in love, that we might comprehend with each other what is the breadth, the depth, the length, and the height of the love that's in Christ Jesus. Father, you said that we can do all of these wonderful things, but if we don't have love, it profits us nothing. So, Father, today, God, we set your love, Lord, as a seal upon our hearts today, God. We open and we ask by it. We ask you by an act of our will, God, that you would pour your love into us again, Father. And we ask you over and over and over and over again for your love till we're swollen and we burst with your love, God, so that when we get puffed and prodded, when we become offended, God, all that comes out of us is your love oozing from our pores, God. Lord, that our words will be coals of fire, God, upon those that have even offended us, God. Lord, that even as you fill us with your love, our words would be seasoned with grace. Grace, God, that our words will be apples of gold and picture frames of silver, God, that we'll have to take no thought for what we'll say, for in time of need you would tell us what to say, God. We thank you that we're strong and we're vulnerable in the name of Jesus, that you have taught us how to compete and connect in the name of Jesus. Father, it is this soul, this heart of the wife that we bring to you today, God. And we ask you, Lord, during this next time that you will even allow us to enter into the intercession of Jesus Christ. For you said that Jesus is sitting at your right hand, making intercession for us according to your will, God. So, Father, we enter this hour into the intercession of Jesus Christ, having our consciences sprinkled by your blood, having been washed in your blood, having been prepared to go into your holy God, holy of holies, God, having been cleansed from all unrighteousness, God, that we might offer these prayers with clean hands and clean hearts, God, that they would not be hindered, God, in the earth, God, that indeed your word would go out void and accomplish what you have set it out to accomplish in the heart of our husbands, God. Oh, we bless you today, God. We honor you for you do the work, God, and you have allowed us to enter into it this very hour, God. We bless you, Father God. We ask you in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would pour out your love in our husbands like never before, God. Oh, God, that you would cause their hearts to, Lord, receive your love, to hunger and thirst for your love like never before, God. Oh, God, not just simply the love that's mushy, God, but the love that parts seeds, God, the love that is bold and strong and fixed and steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in your work, God. We ask you to pour out your love and then the same love that was in Jesus reconciling the world to yourself, God. We thank you today, God. We thank you for the love that was in him, Lord, to show up and manifest in our husbands, God, that this love would become rooted and grounded in their in their hearts and would supplant their intellect, God. Oh, Father God, and supplant the works of the flesh, God, that the love of Jesus would drown out the works of the flesh, God, that the love of Jesus would drown out their intellect, God, in their degrees, in their materialism, God, in the name of Jesus, that your love would draw them to the place of repentance. God, that they would, Lord, that their wives would ooze with such love, God, that a soft answer turns away wrath, God. I'm asking you in the name of Jesus because you've done it for me, God. You've done it for those ladies that are in relationship for me, God. I'm asking you right now to extend this prayer, Lord, to extend the territory of this prayer, Lord, to every wife that's listening and those that are joined by the Glow Ministry Fellowship, a network of pastors and pastors' wives and ministers, God. Lord, every spirit connected to this prayer right now, God. I'm asking you to douse them in love, God. I'm asking you to give them this indestructible love, God. I'm asking you to give them this love that changes hearts and minds, God. I'm asking you to give them this love that commands obedience, God. I'm asking you to give them this love that drives out fear, for you said perfect love drives out fear, God. And if you have not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind, God, it's this love I want you to pour into your husbands, God. Pour into the men of God. Pour into pastors, God. Pour into those that are called by your name and have been burst through the loins, God, of the model that you set forth in your word, God, which is the model of a 
and birth from your loins, God. I bless you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. I bless you in the name of Jesus, God. I thank you that you're doing it even now, even as I speak, God. It is happening, God. For you said that the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much, and it is availing even now because you're a now, God. And you said now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Lord, cause your love, your substance, God, to manifest yourself in your people today, God, and in husbands and in wives today. Today, God, I bless you and I honor you for your love, God. Oh, God, I could tell you about your love all day long, Father. I thank you for the love that does not insist on its own way. I thank you, Lord, that husbands have the love that doesn't insist on their own way, God. I thank you for love that is not conceited and self-righteous, God. I thank you that this love be poured into the veins and into the heart of your people, God. This love that will bring about a personal revival in pastors and husbands, God. I'm asking you to remake, Lord, the men of God in your image, God. Make us as pastors and ministers, God. I'm asking you to do a new thing, God, in their hearts, God, a thing that only by your spirit could be done, God. I'm not asking you for temporary change, God. I'm asking you to root and ground them in love that they would bring forth fruit year after year, God. I'm asking you for holy men of God. I'm asking you in the name of Jesus for the love that draws men unto repentance this hour, God. Draw every husband that professes your name, that is in, Lord, is part of the fivefold ministry or is a minister, God. And I'm asking you to draw them in this hour, God. Oh, Father, in this last day, in the third day, God, bring your love to bear in their hearts, God. I bless you and I honor you. I thank you for your love, God, for it's enough. God, I bless you and I honor you. I thank you for your love, God. I thank you for the love that does not behave itself unseemly, God. I thank you for the love, Lord, that chooses the good and refuses the evil, God. I thank you, Father God. I thank you for your love today, God. I thank you for love that honors you and honors the wife, God, before the congregation, God. I thank you for the kind of love that esteems others better than themselves, God. I thank you for the kind of love dwelling in our husbands that will lay down their lives, that will go head first, God. I thank you for the kind of love that delivers our husbands from materialism, God, and pride and arrogance, God. I thank you for the kind of love that was in Christ Jesus. Oh, God, I bless you and I honor you as this love we ask and receive from you today, God. And I thank you that you've given every man a measure of faith, God. And I thank you that you said that faith works by love. We need this love to take risk and be bold for you, God. I thank you, Lord, that this love will deliver our husbands from the spirit, the, Lord, the, the spirit of timidity, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, fill them with so much love that it fuels their faith into a obedience, God, and works, and good works, God. For you say, faith without works is dead. Even so, Lord, all that we do without love profits us nothing, God. I bless you today, God, for your love. I celebrate your love. All we need is your love, God. Inside of your love is truth, God. And inside of your truth is mercy, God. You said mercy and truth, God. We bless you because your word says that you are love. And we ask you today for your nature, God. We ask you for your very nature, God. We ask you for the gift of your nature, God. We thank you that you have predestined that we should be conformed to your image and your likeness, God. And your image is love, God. Your nature is love, God, and we want to be conformed. We want our husbands conformed to your love, God. Lord, we thank you, Father. Conform, Lord, our husbands to your love, God, that we would cease from manipulating and trying to control the outcomes, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you to help us as wives to take our hands off, God, and to love them that you might change them, Father God. I ask you that you would even give us the grace to defeat the adversary, even in our own lives, God, that we might overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony, and because we're not trying to establish ourselves with our husbands, God. We bless you today, God. We honor you for your love, God. Your love, God, it makes all the difference, Father. We thank you, Father God. Oh, Father, let oh, all those you, who seek you, Lord, rejoice, and let us be glad in your love, God. Let us be happy with your love, God. I thank you that your love is perfect for converting the soul, God. And the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple, God. Make us simple, wise, wise in you, Father God. 
God. For you said the wisdom of this world is demonic and self-seeking, God, and pleasure-oriented, God. But the wisdom of the of the world is pure and peaceful and easy to be received, God. We ask you for the wisdom of all, God. Oh, Lord, you said if we ask you for wisdom, God, you wouldn't find fault, God, but you would give it to us freely, God. Lord, we want the wisdom today that's from above, God. We want you to show your being inside of us, God. We want you to knit all the fragments of our lives together, God. Knit the fragments of our husband's lives together, God. And where they have not known love, let us be love, God. Let us convey love, God. We bless you, God. We honor you, God. Fill every wife with love from on high, God, so she won't have to demand it from her husband, God, so she won't have to steal it from her husband, God. Fill her till she's overflowing, God. Put her in the posture of giving, God, and to seek your face when she's dry, God. For you said if we drink of your well, we'll never thirst again, God. Oh, God, help us, God, that we remain full of your love and your spirit, God, that we won't be tempted to steal and demand and coerce and manipulate our husbands, God, that we can be to them all that you desire to be to them because we rely on you and we love them, Father. We thank you for your unconditional love in our husbands, God, that you're teaching their hands to war and overcome, Lord, every condition, Lord, that attempts, Lord, to object your love, just like you overcame, Lord, the objections of the lady at the well, God. We bless you, God. Oh, we bless you, God. Cause your love to be in our husbands and in us, a well of water springing up into eternal life, God. Cause it to flow out of their bellies like rivers of living water, God. Cause your love to humble them, God. In the name of Jesus, we praise you. We bless you, God. We love you, God. We call you blessed, God. We honor you, God. We thank you that you have set your love upon us. Therefore, that you would deliver us and our husbands, God. You have set your love upon our husbands. Therefore, deliver us, God. For you said that you did not come in the world to condemn the world, but to, Lord, save and deliver us, oh God. So save and deliver husbands, God. I pray especially for the lost sheep of the house of Israel that sit in your pulpits across America and the world, God. They're in the kingdom, but they're lost, God. They don't have access to the grace and the truth where they stand, God. I pray specifically for every pastor that's gone astray, God. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you humble him by your mighty hand, God. That you draw him by love, God. I pray, God, that you will not always allow your wives to be afflicted, God, that you would deliver them, God, in the name of Jesus, God. I thank you, Lord, that you teach your soul that there is no temptation but to, such as common to man, and that you would not suffer her or be tempted above that which she's able, God. Give her the grace to stand, and having done all to stand, to stand for God, while you bring her wayward husband home, God. Lord, deliver the husbands and the pastors in the pulpit from adultery and infidelity and masturbation and pornography, God, for you said be holy for your holy God. Father, I thank you, Lord. I bless you today, God. I honor you, God, for delivering our husbands from pride and arrogance, God. Oh, Father, for refusing the truth, God, while they sling your sword to others, they refuse to be cut by themselves. Father, God, I ask you to take your sword of the Spirit right now, God, and sever their heart from their soul right now in the name of Jesus. For you said your word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And it pierces, it divides, it separates the soul from the spirit, the soul from the heart, the joints and the marrow, and distinguishes, Lord, the thoughts from the reason why we think and do what we do, God. You said you know their thoughts are far off. The thoughts they'll think even before they think them, God. I ask you to take your sword of the spirit and sever every unholy thought in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless you right now. I honor you right now, God. We lift our husbands up before you, God. We bless you for them, God. We honor you for them, God. We magnify your name that you are changing and doing a transition in the kingdom, God. And let it begin with our own homes, God. Let us humble ourselves. Lord, cause our husbands to be prostrate before you, God. And Lord, to deliver them from a double life, God. Oh, God, from saying one thing in public and another thing in private, God. From loving the people with the will of their flesh, Lord, and hating their own lives at home, God. For you said no man hates his own body, God. Oh, Father, you have called the white flesh of his flesh, God. I pray, God, that you put an end to wickedness, Lord, in your people, God. That they that profess God would depart from sin, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless you.
you and I honor you that sin was punished in Jesus, God. And yet when Satan gets finished, he exposes us, God. Bring your people to repentance, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, return them by the way of love, God. I bless you, Father. Oh, Father God, I thank you that you love justice and righteousness, God. And you will not always allow your people to be troubled, God. For you said you will trouble them that trouble us, oh, God. We bless you, God. Oh, Father, we love you, God. Oh, we love your law. We love your truth. Give us an appetite and a hunger. Give our husbands an appetite and a hunger for truth, even when it pierces their own ego, God. Teach husbands how to receive and to hear from you through their wives, God. Not because we're flaunting ourselves, not because we're insisting, God, but because we have a meek and quiet spirit, God. Because your hand is upon us, God, and you've set your seal upon wives and women in this hour, God. You said, behold, a new thing you're doing, God, and a wife, a woman will encamp around about her in Jeremiah, God. You said that the way out is the way back, God. Oh, Father, we thank you that you're anointing, God, this hour. Hours upon women, and every time you did a change in the word, it came through a woman, God. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the transition in the kingdom of leadership, God. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. We applaud the transition. We say, bring it on, God. We thank you for the transition in the kingdom, God. I thank you for repositioning, God, those you've called to speak to the whole body of Christ versus those you've called to speak to a local body of Christ, God. Bring the transition on, God. And those that are risen up to speak, Lord, on behalf of themselves, to the whole body of Christ, Lord, humble the hills, God, lower the hills, and raise the valleys, put us pastors and ministers in order, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that your people will no longer be tossed to and fro, God, that your people will not be led, misled, God, by false doctrine, God, I'm asking you, God, to cleanse your house, God, make it holy, God, and please fit for your habitation, God, we thank you and we praise you, God. We ask that you would give husbands and wives a discerning spirit first for each other, God. To know, God, when the spirit in each is speaking versus, Lord, the soul of the person is speaking. For you said, no, no man according to the flesh, but according to the spirit, God. Teach wives how to hear the spirit of her husband. And, Lord, Lord, just and, and to understand the soul of their husband, God. Oh, Father, I'm asking you, God, to make this distinction, Lord, so she's not baited into, Lord, discussions that are purely soulless and natural, God, that result in contention and conflict, God. I ask you to bless them with soulless discussions that bring their bodies together sexually, God. I thank you that you would cleanse the marriage bed of these homes, God. Lord, where there's been infidelity in the name of Jesus, Father, I ask you to take your sword of truth, God, and sever the spirit of the harlot from every husband that's been called by your name, God, and give his soul back to him and her soul back to her, God, or his soul back to him and his soul back to him, God. We got it all mixed up, God, in the name of Jesus. And so I'm asking you, Father God, to return what belongs to every husband to him, God. Oh, clean up the marriage bed, God. Give husbands a new desire for their wives and wives a desire for their husbands, God. Oh, Father, I bless you, God. Oh, Father, I pray you put a bit in every husband's mouth who speaks about the appearance of his wife and, Lord, condemns it, God, and speaks evil against her, God, and humiliates her and embarrasses her and is abusive toward her even while he leads your people, God. You say these things ought not be so, God. So bring your sword of the Spirit and sever this spirit from us, oh, God. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus against the spirit of rebellion, God. For you said in your word, if a man's house is not in order, God, he had no business leading the kingdom, God. Father, I pray for intact marriages. I pray that separated husbands and wives are returning to each other. I thank you that you have given us favor and you have given us success, God, and blessed us to be able to, Lord, remarry husbands and wives that have divorced from one another. Lord, I thank you and I praise you, Lord, because it is your will and your word, God. And we bless you, Father. We honor you for what you're doing in the earth. And as Jesus is the foundation of the church, sure the marriage are the walls, God. The walls have been torn down, God. I thank you for Nehemiah's God. I thank you for those that are rebuilding the walls, God. For you said a city without walls, can, Lord, can easily be overtaken, God. Cleanse your people, God. Cleanse our motives, God. Cleanse our hearts today, God. Oh, I want to 
please you, God. We as wives want to please you, God. We want to please you, God. Corroids to corroids our hearts, God. Oh, Father God, touch the cold to our lips, God. We're asking you, God, to change us, God. Oh, Lord, we bless you today, God. And even as we number ourselves with our husbands today, God, in the name of Jesus, and we have repented from our own sin, we demand right now the release of our husbands from Satan's grip in the name of Jesus. We demand the release from every spirit of lie, every spirit of sexual immorality. We demand, we command, Satan, take your hands off the man of God. We declare we stand in his stead. We hug the cross, and by the blood of the Lamb, we drive you back in the name of Jesus. Marriage, husbands and wives shall live and not die. Marriages shall be resurrected, God, in the name of Jesus. It is so, God, because it's your will, God. Oh, God, it's your will, God. At the forefront in your heart is a marriage, God. Oh, Father, we bless you, God. The whole of your book is about a man that loves a woman and spends, Lord, 66 books to go after her, God. Help us to see, God, you haven't changed the plan, God. You haven't changed the law, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you to move by your spirit in this place. Move by your spirit in every heart associated with this network, God. You do it, God. Hallelujah, God. I know you're moving, God. Oh, my eyes cannot see you, but my faith senses your presence, and thou art with me, God. I bless your holy name, God. We enter into your satisfaction right now, God. Oh, Father, we enter into your pleasure, God. We applaud the works of your hand. We applaud your glory. It pleases us to lay a time inside a time and to be our bodies, Lord, that your kingdom might be advanced. Lord, in your people. And, Father, I ask you that the reign of the Lord Jesus Christ would come to every area in, in the men, in the husbands, in the, in the ministers of God, that the reign of Jesus Christ is the kingdom of God. Let Jesus reign in us, God, like never before, God. Oh, Father, bring about revival in our hearts, oh, God. You do it, God. You do it, God. Bring it out in security, God, like you brought David out of a cave, God, like you brought Jesus out of the womb, God, like you are ruled out of our head, God. Oh, God, as you do everything you do, do you bring it out something that isn't already seen, God. You said the world was framed by the word of God, and so we frame your move by your word, God, for you cannot deny your word, God. Oh, Father, I thank you for not violating your word for our foolishness, God. I thank you that you'll never violate your word to appease the flesh, God. I thank you and I praise you, God. I honor you. I love you, God. I love you, God. We love you, God. We love you, God. We love you today, God. Pour forth your spirit, God. We love you today. We honor you today, God. Oh, Father God, we love you for your word is pure and we love it, God. Your word is true. Let every man be a liar. Oh, we consider how you love us, God. Oh, bless the Lord and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me, God. We kneel down and we offer our whole soul to you, the good and the bad. For surely all of our righteousness is filthy rags before you, God. We say, come, Holy Spirit, live within us. Heal all of our diseases. That's your word, God. Deliver us from all of our fears, God. Redeem the men of God and our husbands from the curse, God. Lord, Lord, crown them with your loving kindness and satisfy their mouth with good things, Father. Cause the fruit of the Spirit to grow and to be cultivated in their lives, God. For you said the fruit of the Spirit is love, God. We expect evidence of this prayer being answered in the heart of your men and, your, and our husbands, God. That love would take root in them and bring forth fruit, and that fruit would remain, God. Oh, that every husband, God, would treat every woman, God, as your personal daughter and child, God. That you'd be able to trust the men of God in the presence of your women, God. Oh, Father, deal with them in the name of Jesus. Deal with your men. Set them in the place where they belong. Cause them to lead by example, God. Revive them, God. Where they've been beaten down, build them up. Where they've been in error in their own way, bring them back, God, in the name of Jesus. We need you to do this, God. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you for making us, Lord, the neck of the head, God. Oh, Father God, the, the fortitude, the strength, God. I bless 
bless you, Father. I honor you today, God. I magnify your name, Jesus. Oh, God, we will hold fast to your word, God. We bless you, God. You said that we will prosper if we love you, God. And if you don't send your love, then how will we love? You said that we first, we can love because we have first been loved, Father. So we ask you for love today, God. We ask you for love today, God. We ask you for love today, God. We receive love today, God. We receive your love today, God. Oh, we receive your love today, God. We receive your love, God. Oh, we receive confidence through your love, God. We thank you and we bless you, God. Oh, honor your word, God. Watch over it and perform it in the lives of your people, God. Oh, how we love you today, God. How we honor you, God. Oh, we love you. We love your word. We love your spirit. We love your love, God. We love everything about you, God. We thank you, God. Oh, God, we bless you. We look to you who are merciful to us and our husbands, God, and your custom toward us is love, Father God. You desire mercy to win out over judgment, God. Oh, God, if we would hold fast to the profession of our faith concerning our husband, God, and what you put in our heart, God, you will bring that word to pass, God, for you cannot lie. It's impossible for you to lie, God. Help every wife that's weary, God, of well-doing. Reminder of the word that you put in her, God. Lord, bring that word. Call it to be stirred up in her again, God. Call this network to be a place of refuge, God. Not a place, God. Help it to be a place where people can come and find refuge, God. Help and strength in time of need, God. Lord, we don't need a good word. We need a word that will change our life, God. We need help, God. We can't change ourselves. We can't change our husbands, God. Oh, Father, we bless you today, God. We bless you. You said if we have your love, we would have peace. And I thank you for your peace, God. I thank you for your peace right now, God. I thank you for your peace, God. You said let your peace rule in our heart. And Jesus is our peace, God. I thank you for your peace, God. I thank you that you preserve us because we love you, God. Oh, I thank you, Father God. I bless you today, God. I honor you today, God. I thank you that you love us, that you care about us, and you love us so much you correct us. We thank you, Lord, for using these prayers, God, to correct and instruct our husbands, God. Father, give them an ear to hear and an eye to see, God, and a heart to understand what it is you're doing in the earth today, God. I thank you that you have one agenda, and your ultimate agenda is to make a family for yourself, God. Lord, to return us to yourself, God, to make us compatible with yourself, God. Oh, Father, make us compatible, God, then we'll be the evangelism program. Make us love, and we will draw people unto yourself, God. Make us what you want to do through us, God. Help us to focus on what we're becoming in in your presence, God, and let you take care of everything else, God. You make ministers, God, but ministers make ministries, God. Help us to focus on becoming the kind of minister, God, that you can set on a city, Lord, and not hide them, Father God. Oh, we bless you today, God. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Restore miracles to the church as we become more full with your love, God. For when we love you, God, we will not be tempted to steal from you, God. When we really love you, God, we will be not be tempted, Lord, to speak evil against others, God. Oh, Father, I bless you in the name of Jesus, God. I bless you, God. I honor you, God. I cry out to you today, God. I bless you today, God. I need you today, God. We need you to fight on behalf of every woman and wife today, God. We need you, God, to turn the hearts of men and husbands to yourself all today, God. We bless you, God. Teach us how to reverence our own husbands, God. Oh, Father, we bless you today. We honor you, God. Don't forsake us as wives today, God. We bless you today, God. Cause your strength to be made perfect in our weaknesses, God. We bless you today, God. We honor you. Father, you love us as a sovereign act of your will, God. There's nothing we can do or say to alter your love for us. This is the kind of love that was in Christ Jesus. That while they spit on him and reviled him, God, he didn't answer, Father. But he loved and he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He did it because he loved him as a sovereign act of his will, God. It wasn't dependent on us at all, God. You said that he died while we were yet practicing sin to 
restored the, 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 the manifold wisdom of God to the angels and the principalities, God. I thank you that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, against, but against spiritual wickedness in high places, God. And I thank you that our love is able to pull down strongholds and cast down imaginations, God, and every high thing that tries to exalt itself against love. Father, you said that nothing shall be impossible to us who love God. For those of us that love can ask you what we will, and it will be done unto us, God. So give us the kind of love that motivates our speech, motivates our actions, motivates what we do, God. We bless you, God. We thank you, Lord, for showing us what needs to come off of our plate to receive this love, God. Oh, give us this transforming love, God. I thank you, God. I sanction love and work in the heart of your people, God. I declare it will bring forth a revival between husbands and wife, God. I declare, God, that we will not forget the former things and press forward to the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you that husbands and wives will count all things lost for the excellency of knowing you together, God. I thank you and I praise you and I bless your holy name, God. And I pray for the wife that thinks, God, she needs her husband, Lord, to restore the quality of their relationship, God. Lord, your word says that it does take two. It takes you and her, God. If she'll believe you, you'll bring it to pass, God. Hannah didn't have the help of Peniah, and Hannah didn't have the help of Echoniah, and Hannah didn't have the help of a pastor or a priest or a prophet, for Eli called her drunk, God. Hannah had you and you alone, God. Now prevail in in us as you prevail in heaven, God. We stand with you. We will speak your words. We will live your life as you live it in us, oh God. Do to us what you want done through us, God. We will team and join with you as Jesus did, God. We'll no longer call it unfair, God. For even his favor is not fair, so is the call of God on our love. We enter in to knowing you are fresh today. Not only in the power of your resurrection, but in the fellowship of your suffering. Teach every husband and wife that there is a suffering appointed unto the people of God. And before we can count persecution as suffering, we must understand and know the suffering of following and obeying Jesus at the expense of our own pleasures and our own life, God. For you said he who seeks to save his own life will lose it. But he who's willing to lose his life for your sake will find it. You said if any man would follow you, take up his cross and follow you, God. You didn't say it was easy. The cross means pain, God, as well as resurrection. Father, help us to embrace the cross personally first, God. For you said suffering brings about compassion. You said suffering causes us to cease from sin, God. You said that suffering binds us together in ways that no other blessing can, God. Teach us how to see, God, discomfort, interruption, inconvenience as a blessing, God. I'm thanking you and I'm praising you, God. I bless you, God. I thank you, Father, for everyone that's caused me to have to consider my way, God. I thank you that anyone that you deem can speak into my life, God. Oh, Father, I will have no respect of persons, God. If you want to use my children, God, if you want to use somebody in the pew, God, if you want to use an ant on the ground, God, whatever it takes, God, change me into your image, God. Make it plain what you would have us to do is why. We thank you, Father God. We thank you that our husbands will no longer sacrifice, Lord, marriage on the altar of ministry, God. I thank you that every husband that continues to be rebellious, Lord, that's included in this prayer, that you deal with him speedily, God, that you bring him low, God, that you humble him under your mighty hand. Only don't cast him away from you eternally, God. Oh, Father God, I bless you today, God. I honor you today, God. I thank you for the love that commands righteousness. I thank you for the love, God, that you do business with them even as we love them, God. For you say if we love them, you'll change them, God. We expect you to change them even as we grow in love toward them, Father. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. We rely on you so that we can love them, God. We thank you that this is a time to love, God. Oh, God, teach our husbands to hate the things you hate, God. Teach our husbands, God, to love God. I thank you that true love doesn't hurt God. It, Lord, the lack of love 
hurts, God. I thank you that there's nothing that hurts about your love, God. It is the absence of love, separation from you, from self and others that causes us the greatest pain. Father, teach us that love doesn't hurt, Father. We bought into the mentality of the world, deliver us, God. Oh, Father, deliver us. Open our eyes. I pray for a spiritual awakening between husbands and wives, God, that we might share in the life of Christ freely, God. Father, I pray, God, that you would bring correctness, Lord, in the area of judgment, God, so that we don't give a license to sin, God, and yet we don't become legalistic, God. Oh, Father, help us to understand that we will know your people by their love for one another and that we'll know your people by their fruits, God. I thank you that there's a difference in condemning a piece of fruit and condemning the whole tree, God. You have called us to evaluate fruit, God, to judge the quality of fruit, God. You have not called us to judge the root or the tree, God. For Jesus didn't come to judge or condemn. He came to change, God. And in order to change, we have to have an option, God. For all of our ways seem right to us, God. So point out the fruit in our life that's rotten, God. Oh, Father, you do it, God. Oh, you said if we correct the fool, he'll turn and rend us. But with the well-advised is wisdom, God. Give our husbands a hunger and an appetite for wisdom, God. Call them to embrace the gifts that their wife offers them, God. Help them to receive the truth from their wives, God. I'm asking you to do this, God, as we grow in love. Oh, we bless you. We bless you. I know you're coming and you'll separate out all things. And you say, let the wheat and the tares grow together unless we destroy some of the wheat, God. But I'm asking you for spiritual eyes so that those you have called would discern the wheat from the tares, God. Oh, Father, that you would separate us unto yourself by reason of sacrifice. I praise you. I bless you. I honor you so much, God. Oh, perfect your work in us. Oh, we honor you. We magnify you, God. We anoint you, God, with our presence, God. We bless you. We honor you. We appreciate you. Your love is better than anything in this life, God. Teach us how to ask and receive your love often in a day, God, till we're filled with overflowing, God. Your love is your spirit, God. And you say, be filled with your spirit, God. Fill us with your Holy Spirit of love. Fill us with your Holy Spirit of truth and lead and guide us in the way that we should go. Father, if I spoke in or prayed anything amiss, God, I thank you that your will has already made provision, God, for my mistakes. I pray, God, if I've said anything that misrepresents you, I pray, God, that you would strike it from the record of the heart of your people, inclusive in this prayer or even listening to this prayer. But those things that have come from your throne to your own, God, I pray that you cause it to resonate, reverberate, and cause them not to be able to get away from the words that you have lost in their minds, in their hearts. Cause it to become a splinter in their mind, God, until they allow you to burst understanding and revelation and experience with that word, God. That they might, too, become true to the words and the truth that we speak. This is my prayer, God that we would love you with everything we have and that we would love each other instead of ourselves. May you be glorified. May you be pleased. Thank you, Father.